In the next example, I want to show you how to use wildcards in your access query. If I run this particular query, we're going to pick on run, and notice it shows me all of the people from either Italy or Canada or Spain. Okay, But let's say I just wanted to see the salespeople in the contact title. So I don't care where the word sales appears, as long as it appears somewhere. So let's go back into design view. Okay, so I'm going to pick on the criteria of the contact title, if you notice where my mouse is. The wildcard character in Access is the asterisk. So I'm going to type an asterisk, sales, asterisk. What that means is, I don't care what's before the word sales, I don't care what's after the word sales, as long as the word sales appears somewhere in the contact title. Oh, and by the way, in this example, they also have to be from either Italy or Canada or Spain at the same time. You see, if there's more than one criteria on the same row, then everything on the same row has to be true at the same time. So let's run it this time. Notice now we only have the salespeople. Uh, they all say the word sales in there, like sales representative, sales manager, sales associate, and uh, they're either from Italy or Canada or Spain. Notice how we didn't have any from Canada, so there must not be any salespeople that are from Canada. So like I said, both of those conditions have to be true for the record to show up when we have more than one criteria. Uh, so now we, we typed in asterisk sales asterisk, but then it converts it to this like phrase. Okay, that's just the language that it can understand, but we can just type it in um, just asterisk sales asterisk. Uh, here's another way we can do this. If I type in marketing asterisk, that means it has to start with the word marketing, and then I don't care what's after that. If I pick on run, see how these are marketing managers, marketing assistants, right? And they're either from Italy or Canada or Spain. So that phrase had to start with the word marketing. Uh, or another thing I can do is asterisk manager. That means it has to end with the word manager. So I can pick on run and then now have, see how they all end with the word uh, manager. So three different, three different ways you can do the wildcard. If you say asterisk sales asterisk, that means the word sales can, can wind up anywhere in that phrase. If you say sales asterisk, that means uh, the phrase has to start with the word sales and it doesn't come uh, doesn't matter what comes after that and then you can have asterisk sales and that would mean that it has to end with the word sales and it doesn't matter uh, what's before that so now you have some ideas on how to do wildcards in your access queries